my first grade. So this video is just going to be a phonics video on a sound you worked on last week, but it's a slightly different spelling pattern. So we'll just jump right in. If you can go ahead and read these words for me. My first word I have, new, blue, and juice. Now, just a little review for those of you who, who might have struggled. Um, if we look at the word new, we have n, ooh. It's that E-W, right? Making ooh. Then we've got b, o, oo, with U-E making oo. N, oo, b, oo. And then down here for juice, juice, we've got j, oo, s, with the U-I making oo. Now, coincidentally, last week, I drew a picture of the moon. I don't know if you recall. Let me see if I can do one right here. Okay, this kind of looks like a moon, but it looks also like a bowling ball. But I drew the moon because I was trying to explain to you that that middle sound you hear in the word moon is the sound that these letters make in those spelling patterns. Now this week, the phonics rule is actually about words with the double O that to making to make ooh, like in the word moon. So in our word moon, we've got m u n moon, and we have the oo sound, which again, uh, let me write it. Whenever we write uh, a sound, we always do it in between some forward slashes. And this sound is actually written like this, and it's the oo sound. So we, sh we show it with an oo with these two dots in between our slashes. So it's the oo sound spelled O-O. Ooh. Oo spelled oo. Pretty simple. A lot of you already know this rule because, well, when you're little kids, we always learn what does the cow say? The cow goes, moo. And in that word moo, it's spelled M-O-O, -O, moo. Let's play with the word really quick. All right, let's try, hmm, what if I did this word? Let's see if you can read that word to me. Spoon, spoon, easy. Let me erase the SP and I'll replace that with tune, as in a cartoon. Not as in musical tune, because guess what? When we say tune, as in I really like that tune, we've got you with bossy E, because let's just make it complicated. How about. Um, how about I take away my N and I replace it with an L. Now I've got tool, like a hammer or a rake or a broom, a tool. Even my marker is a tool that I use when I'm teaching. Let's, oh, ooh, let's erase the T and let's put an SP. That spells spool, spool. If you don't know what a spool is, it has something, it's something, um, it's how we wrap up yarn or string. We might say, oh, um, if you've ever seen a ball of string, you could say it's a spool of string. I wish I could show you a picture, but I don't have one in front of me. Uh, let's try, oh, I know. Let's get rid of the L in spool. So right now it's a spoo, that's not a word. But if I add an N, I'm back to spoon. Great. Some of your words in yesterday's uh, reading workbook had to do with the double O making oo. Um, I'm sure you got it. This is just a fun, quick little review. But you will see in today's pages the review of 
words with EW, UE, and UI making OO. So make sure you pay attention for it. You can read those words, okay? Make sure you just put them into the chunks. N, U, bull, U, blue, J, U, S, juice. You can spell them as long as you try and remember those spelling patterns. But again, if it's tricky, just keep trying. Okay, bye.